Since the dawn of space exploration, numerous astronauts have claimed to have encountered unidentified objects while in space. Many of these sightings have been dismissed by skeptics as mere hallucinations or reflections of light, but others remain unexplained and have left some wondering if there is more to the universe than we currently understand. One of the most famous of these encounters occurred during the Apollo 11 mission in 1969, when astronauts Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong reported seeing a strange glowing object following them as they made their way to the moon. The object appeared to be in a fixed position relative to the spacecraft, leading some to speculate that it may have been an advanced craft. Another notable encounter occurred when astronaut James McDivitt reported seeing a cylindrical object that he could not identify. The object appeared to be rotating and emitting a high-pitched sound, leading McDivitt to speculate that it may have been a spacecraft of some kind. Story Musgrave is a retired NASA astronaut who has made six spaceflights during his career. However, during one of those missions, he had a strange encounter that he could not explain. In 1996, Musgrave was on board the space shuttle Columbia, on the STS-80 mission, when he saw a mysterious object in space that he described as a snake. The incident occurred during a 15-day mission, when Columbia was orbiting the Earth at an altitude of about 190 miles. Musgrave, who was a payload specialist on the mission, was operating a video camera to film a tether experiment, in which a 12-mile-long cable was extended from the shuttle to test the idea of using tethers to generate electricity in space. As Musgrave was filming the experiment, he noticed a strange object moving across the frame. At first, he thought it was a reflection or a lens flare, but as he zoomed in on the object, he realized it was a long, thin, serpentine object with what appeared to be lights on it. Musgrave estimated that the object was about 10 to 30 feet long and said that it appeared to be moving independently of the shuttle and the tether. He described the object as a giant, snake-like creature that was moving deliberately through space. The encounter lasted for about 10 minutes, during which time Musgrave and his crewmates tried to determine what the object was. They ruled out the possibility that it was a reflection or a lens flare, and also ruled out the possibility that it was a piece of debris or space junk, since it was moving too deliberately and too slowly. They also ruled out the possibility that it was an animal or a bird, since it was moving through the vacuum of space. The incident was captured on video, and the footage has been analysed by researchers, who have suggested that the object could be an advanced craft. However, NASA officials have said that the object was probably a piece of debris or space junk, and that Musgrave and his crewmates misidentified it. Regardless of what the object actually was, Musgrave's encounter has remained one of the most intriguing and mysterious sightings ever reported by an astronaut. It is a reminder that there are still many unexplained phenomena in space, and that the universe is full of mysteries that we have yet to unravel. In 2020, Russian cosmonaut Ivan Wagner captured footage of an unidentified object from the International Space Station. The video showed a fast-moving object with a distinct shape and glowing lights passing over the Earth's atmosphere. The footage quickly gained attention from enthusiasts and skeptics alike, sparking discussions about the existence of extraterrestrial life and the possibility of advanced technologies beyond human comprehension. The object spotted by Wagner is not the first reported sighting from space. NASA astronauts have also reported seeing objects that they could not explain while on missions. The subject of mysterious aircrafts in space has long been a topic of interest and debate among the scientific community and the general public. Despite the compelling nature of the Wagner footage, Skeptics argue that the object could have been a satellite, a piece of space debris, or a natural phenomenon such as a meteor. However, some experts have pointed out that the object appears to have maneuvered in a way that suggests it was not simply a random piece of space debris, also noting that it hovered motionless for several minutes without moving. The Wagner sighting adds to the growing body of evidence that suggests the possibility of extraterrestrial life and advanced technologies beyond human understanding. While the scientific community has yet to provide definitive proof of such phenomena, the fascination and intrigue surrounding the topic continue to capture the public's imagination. As space exploration and technology continue to advance, it is likely that further sightings and evidence will emerge,
fueling ongoing discussions and debates about the existence of extraterrestrial life and advanced civilizations. The United States National Aeronautics and Space Administration has long been a source of interest for enthusiasts. Many have wondered whether NASA has investigated sightings or encountered unexplained aerial phenomena in their missions. NASA has always maintained that it is a scientific organization focused on space exploration and has not made any formal statement on the existence of extraterrestrial life or mysterious aircrafts. However, there have been reports of NASA astronauts and officials discussing sightings of strange aircrafts and unexplained aerial phenomena. In more recent years, NASA astronauts have reported seeing unusual lights and objects while in space. In 2019, various strange objects were allegedly detected outside the International Space Station, with one user describing them as large, glowing objects that didn't match anything that was close by. Despite these reports, NASA has maintained that there is no evidence of extraterrestrial life or advanced aircrafts. While NASA has not made any formal statement on whether they have investigated sightings or unexplained aerial phenomena, some former NASA employees have spoken out about their experiences. In 2009, astronaut Dr. Edgar Mitchell, who was part of the Apollo 14 mission, spoke about his belief in extraterrestrial life and the existence of a government cover-up. He claimed that NASA had been covering up evidence of advanced beings visiting Earth and said that they have been doing this for decades. As of right now, while NASA has not made any official statements on mysterious aircrafts or unexplained aerial phenomena, there have been reports of sightings and experiences by astronauts and officials. The organization's focus on scientific research and space exploration may limit its willingness to publicly discuss such topics. But the public's interest in the possibility of advanced life and aircrafts continues to be a topic of debate and fascination. One of the most fascinating questions that have intrigued scientists, astronomers, and the general public for decades is the possibility of the existence of intelligent extraterrestrial life. With billions of galaxies, each containing billions of stars, many of which are sun-like, it seems statistically likely that some of them could host life. However, Despite decades of searching and studying the universe, we have yet to find concrete evidence of the existence of aliens. So, why have we seen no sign of aliens? One possible answer is that the universe is too vast, and the distances between stars and planets are too great for us to make contact with aliens. The nearest star system to our own, Alpha Centauri, is more than four light years away. This means that it would take us over four years to travel there at the speed of light. Furthermore, even if we did detect signals from an alien civilization, it would still take years for us to communicate with them, assuming they could receive and send signals at a similar speed. Another possibility is that we have not been looking in the right place. Our search for extraterrestrial life has primarily focused on planets that are similar to Earth, with the assumption that life could only exist in conditions that are similar to those on our planet. However, this assumption may be too narrow and life could exist in environments that we have not considered, such as underground oceans, methane seas, or extreme temperatures. Additionally, it is possible that we have already received signals from extraterrestrial civilizations, but we have not recognized them. In 1977, the famous WOW signal was detected by astronomers at the Ohio State University, but it has not been detected since. While there are various theories about the origin of the signal, including that it was a transmission from aliens, it remains a mystery. Another possible reason why we have not seen any signs of aliens is that they are simply not interested in communicating with us. It is possible that they have evolved beyond the need for communication or that they do not see us as a threat or a valuable enough civilization to interact with. Alternatively, it is possible that they are intentionally avoiding us to prevent interference in our development or to maintain the secrecy of their existence. As of right now, the absence of concrete evidence of the existence of aliens remains one of the greatest mysteries in science. While we have not found any definitive proof of the existence of extraterrestrial life, the possibility of its existence remains tantalizingly real. Whether we will ever make contact with aliens or not is still unknown, but the search for extraterrestrial life continues to captivate our imaginations and inspire scientists to explore the universe further. 
The universe is vast and has countless galaxies, each containing an enormous number of stars, planets, and other celestial objects. As a result, it is difficult to estimate the exact number of planets in the universe. However, scientists have been able to make rough estimates based on current knowledge and data. The Milky Way galaxy, which is the home of our solar system, is estimated to contain between 100 billion and 400 billion planets. Scientists have already discovered thousands of planets outside our solar system using telescopes and other detection methods. Beyond the Milky Way galaxy, there are billions of other galaxies, each containing an estimated number of stars and planets. This suggests that there are potentially trillions of planets in the observable universe. It is worth noting that while there may be an enormous number of planets in the universe, it is also important to consider the conditions required for life to exist. For example, a planet must be in the habitable zone of its star, which is the region where conditions are favorable for liquid water to exist. Additionally, the planet must have the right atmosphere, temperature and other conditions that are necessary for life to exist. While we may not know the exact number of planets in the universe, it is clear that there are many possibilities for discovering new planets and expanding our understanding of the cosmos. With advances in technology and exploration, it is likely that we will continue to uncover new information about the planets in the universe and their potential for harboring life. The universe is vast, with countless stars, planets and other celestial bodies. One of the most significant structures in the universe is the galaxy, which is a collection of billions of stars held together by gravity. Galaxies come in different shapes and sizes, and scientists estimate that there are billions of them in the universe. But just how many galaxies are there? In 2016, a study conducted by an international team of astronomers estimated that there are roughly two trillion galaxies in the observable universe. The observable universe is the portion of the universe that we can see from Earth, which is limited by the speed of light and the age of the universe. This estimate was based on data collected by the Hubble Space Telescope and other observatories which have been used to survey large portions of the sky and count the number of galaxies present. While the number of galaxies in the observable universe is staggering, it is important to note that this estimate only accounts for a small fraction of the entire universe. The universe is believed to be much larger than the observable universe, and it is likely that there are many more galaxies beyond our current reach. Despite the vast number of galaxies in the universe, many of them are too far away to be observed directly. Scientists have developed various techniques to study galaxies indirectly, such as analyzing their light spectra or studying the gravitational lensing effects they produce. By studying galaxies, scientists hope to better understand the formation and evolution of the universe, as well as the processes that drive the formation and evolution of individual galaxies. As of right now, while we may never know exactly how many galaxies exist in the universe, current estimates suggest that there are at least two trillion in the observable universe alone. As technology and techniques continue to improve, it is likely that we will continue to discover new galaxies and gain a better understanding of the vast and complex universe we live in. So, what do you make of these mysterious sightings and encounters? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.